Alright, hello, this is Demon coming back for a new round of Transport Fever. So we ended the previous episode building the Panama Canal, and it took us quite a little bit of time to build it, but through the very hard-working efforts of our trains, we were able to accomplish and get victory. Uh, the next mission we are going to be doing is Industry this. is booming around <clears throat> the Great Lakes. Food for the entire nation is produced in the areas surrounding Chicago, and the automobile industry is growing in Detroit. The automobile is opening up new possibilities for transportation. Trucks can deliver large quantities of goods to the most remote corners. The automobile is still the exclusive pleasure of the affluent, but it could soon become a mass-produced commodity and revolutionize the entire transport industry. And that is the new mission that we are trying to do today. It is the moto industry. So this will be the map we're going to be working with. Um, if I remember right, the, you really can't follow what the maps are showing you on on an overall like they build the maps <clears throat> to like kind of meet the needs of what you're using um, we're not going to see the entire state of like Illinois Indiana and then deep and then Michigan to sit there and see Detroit um, they kind of like work with the cities as best they can so let's go ahead and start it up and I will be giving you guys a jump cut to the next mission Alright, so the mission is actually getting pretty close to starting up, so I'm going to go ahead and just start talking again here towards the end. Um, so let's go ahead and get this stuff started, guys. This will be fun. I love this mission, if I remember. If, if it's the one I'm thinking it is. This was a really good mission. I had a lot of trains on this one. <laughs> and then it'll probably cut. Oh. It is the year 1909, and there's not much to complain about here in the Midwest. There's a spirit of optimism. Completely new production methods are opening up new possibilities and business opportunities. A stake in the automobile industry. Now that would be an interesting investment. Our friend William Durant is planning something big, and we could get on board. We still lack the necessary capital, but in just a couple of years, we will also be profiting from the auto business. Very good. However, one second, because I want to see if I can get this FPS counter off with VSync. So, let me see. Can I do it automatically through settings? Or is there nothing I can do with this? Nah, I'm not worried about that. Uh, then we'll just keep continuing. Uh, for next episode, I don't know if you guys will see the FPS counter up here or not. Um, I do have it on. So you guys can see I get a steady 60 FPS. That is because I finally upgraded and I have a brand new graphics card. Well, I guess you can't say brand new. I think it's two years old, but it is my brother's old uh, EVGA 1080. So I am finally upgraded to a 1080 graphics card. It was for a semi-decent price. And I get to sell my old one for 60 bucks, so I'm perfectly fine with that. So, uh, if we look next, overview, um, start mission. Let's go ahead. The automobile business is the market of the future. We should invest in it. But first, we're going to need a tidy sum of seed capital. This is easiest earned, satisfying the most mundane of human needs, food and drink. The people are hungry for meat, and the transport of animals for slaughter is lucrative, so long as this bloody business doesn't give you the heebie-jeebies. Nowhere on Earth is more meat prepared than in the Union stockyards of Chicago. The pigs enter at the front, and the cans exit at the back. A model example of rationality. All right, so the goal of this is to transport pigs from Chicago Farm number one, aka this one, and Chicago Farm number two, which is not this one. Ooh, where is Chicago Farm number two? I think it's this one. Yes. So you will transport goods from these guys to Chicago Prospect. Food produced at Chicago can be delivered to the commercial areas of cities. So, livestock. Uh, delivered to Chicago food processing plant and then you send these goods to the local areas so if you look at this um, I think yeah that should be it right food so yes the food that gets produced here can then travel to the local cities aka uh, Indianapolis um, and Detroit up here in the northern region so in terms of this you kind of get it I guess they do mirror a little bit for what the states look like so it's kind of like here's that hooked in there's Detroit up here, and then you have Indianapolis down here, three major cities in the United States. However, the thing that we're going to run into an issue with is a matter of transporting goods. Now, the question comes into is what is the easiest mode of transportation that I personally can use to get goods to and from their locations? Um, we do have a couple options. I can either do land transit, which can take longer, but it's cheaper, and it depends on what type of vehicles we have. 
Um, the other option we currently have is I could do it all by train. Now the train method is very, very expensive and I don't, I don't really want to have to do it unless I absolutely have to. So it's kind of like I don't want it, I don't want to risk it. So I want to say for me, myself and I, we're going to focus solely on getting land transport done. So. Um, the place I'm going to do it is somewhere right here in the middle. Um, I'm probably going to build most of my stuff right next to the processing plant itself. So let's go ahead and get the road depot built. This will cost 11.2. And if you look here, we can see all the different vehicles we can buy. We already have access to the steam lorry, which is a nice little mode of transportation. You can transport livestock with it and stuff like that. So the way I'm going to probably do it is since these are going to be going to the major cities, uh, mainly from this location. What I'm going to end up doing is I need a really, really big thingy, aka transportation for a large truck station. So, what this will allow to happen is if we build this, you have access to, let's see, three separate terminals here. So, what I'm going to do is transportation is going to come from. Actually, wait, what's this? Shard distillery consumption. Okay. Can I sell booze? Ooh. Now, is that booze or is that just represented as goods? Goods. Okay, so that's another source of money I can use. Is there any place I can put that booze at? Probably not. Doesn't appear to be. Alright. So, what I'm going to do is this location and this location are going to meet up here at the large terminal i will then add a smaller um truck depot here that will be utilized to send goods from this region over there and then we also have indianapolis and detroit where i'm going to build an extra small one so that those goods can get transported to both detroit and indianapolis hopefully I make enough money doing this. Now, the problem I'll run into is the amount of travel it takes, that and the cost of goods. So, what I'm going to hurry up and do is place this one right here. If I need to make it larger, I want to keep a little bit of space so I can still do an enlargement of it. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to buy five steam lorries. And these guys are going to be used always for the transportation of livestock. They're never going to take any goods from anything. I just want them focused on this. Okay, good. Now the th other thing I noticed that I have an issue with is this thing also produces grain. Now this thing needs both grain and livestock to work, so hmm, I wonder if I should switch. I could probably do five and five. All right, you know what? That works. So let's go ahead buy another five and set these ones solely on grain. We'll do, we'll do five and five, that way goods get transported here rather quick. Alright, so, which one are you? Are you Chicago Farm number two? Yes, this is number two. So we're going to go ahead and do number ones first then. So, set line. It is going to go new line, and we're going to transport from Chicago Farm number... Ooh, wait, I completely forgot about that. Uh, where is that? I always forget to build this thing. So... Wow, that's expensive. Oh, that was because it was on the farm. I was about to have a heart attack. Yeah, you gotta be careful where you build some of these sometimes, because it can interfere with the um, farmland, and if it does, it's gonna cost you an extra fortune. So that's good there, that's good there. Set you guys all on to line one. Actually, wait, gotta mess with line one still. Line one. I need you to go from here. Chicago South. To... Chicago Annex. So Chicago South, you guys are going to gather all your goods and then just dump them here. And this will be Chicago Farm Line 1. And since this will be this, I'm going to color it a nice... Let's go for a nice violet. Alright, so now have those guys started transporting out yet? Probably won't start until I hit that. Wow, that's loud. And 
look at the goods go. Very nice, very nice. Now, at some point, I think there is an upgrade I can get where I can get faster vehicles. So we're actually going to stick with what we got for now, and then I'll do the upgrade later on. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Same thing's going to go on with Chicago Farm Line 2. So, livestock, 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 grain, 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 grain. Chicago Farm Line 01, I need Chicago Farm Line 02. So you guys are going to head here and then make your entire way back to this region. Very good. Alright. Chicago Farm Line. Two. Now somebody, I, I probably didn't think about this, but another way I could have did this was instead of doing it as, um, we're going to go for a lighter pink. Um, instead of doing the way I have it set up, I probably should have just put all three of these guys in the same terminal. But this is the way I'm going to do it. So, it's the way it's going to go. So, same thing with these guys. It's going to be Chicago Annex is where you guys will dump. And when you guys get to that farm, you guys are going to pick that up. That works for me. Oop, didn't mean to do that. Alright, next thing we gotta go ahead and do is get the smaller um, trams done as well. So let me see if I can sneak something in here without the high cost. Uh, 29,000, I'm right inside the city. Hmm, I think that's the way I'd rather it be. Unless I can sneak it somewhere else. One building will be moved, one building will be moved. I can't, nah, I can't creep that in there. I think we'll live with this one because it's theoretically right in the center of the city and that's actually a really nice spot for it to be in. And I'm going to build them everywhere else as well. And then I'm going to let some time go through because I want, like, the resources to already start flooding in a little bit so I can just get these resources done early. I creepily sneak this in. Uh, I got a strip building. Any other locations? Any other locations? I mean, could put it right at the edge of town. Right over here. Would feed a piece of it. Yeah, let's do that. And then I need one more built out here. And I don't remember where I built it previously. That cost a fortune. Ooh, wait a minute. I might have a spot. Very good spots. Alright. So as I said, I'm going to let some time flow by. I want these resources like flooding everywhere. I want these guys going out and getting their goods. Again, this is why I love these steam lorries. They fly by. So if you look at this, livestock collected from farms, stuff like that. We haven't actually collected it from them yet. That's just what they've produced. And it's already building up a fair bit. So by the time the steam lorries and everybody reach their location, they should already have enough goods produced that matches the needs that I need to come out of it. Now, my question is, is can I do... No. Now, again, I could do, a far... I could do trains. Um, but as I said before, the trains are pretty expensive to keep running. And if it's not a f if it's not enough money to be made, there's not really any reasons to do it. Like you already see, I'm at negative thirty thousand. If I get faster vehicles as time goes on, things work even better because these things only go a speed of yeah twenty five kilometers an hour. The other thing is is that if you play this game, as you'll notice, is there is differences in speed limits uh, for the roads. So uh, back roads you can go a fair bit faster. I don't think a large country road with dirt. I don't think I'd be going 80 kilometers an hour, but it is an option. But uh, you can upgrade a lot of these roads as you get faster vehicles. I think the smaller roads are 40 kilometers an hour. I forget which one the next one gives us an upgrade. But if you also notice, we actually don't have the original um, horse cart that we ran with when we played mission the first sets of missions. Uh, that's because after so long, they actually just get rid of them. I think it's just because it's the time period you're in, they just decide to get rid of it all. So, next thing we got to do is also this thing. So, this is stone to make brick. 
stone is all the way back here at the quarry then whoa, what's going on uh, then back here you have the Detroit oil well which is sent here to make oil refinery and then I think over here is where you can transport brick and the oil to then make more goods that's why I'm trying to get everything sort of set up around the food idea first so that pr some production can get done so I'm gonna go ahead do another purchase of another five steam lorries because at this point goods should be getting made and we're gonna go for food 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 set new line it's gonna go from here all the way out to here and then I'm gonna call this Chicago food and I'm going to have this be a nice color red and that'll be the end of this terminal right here because there's nothing else they can really do oh yeah and Chicago annex all supplies ship it if I don't, you're not going to get any of the goods and just sit there. Alright. Then let's go ahead and get another five steam lorries out. You guys again are going to be set on food. 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 And you guys are going to get a new line as well. You guys are going to be going from here. I think we'll go ahead and do the Detroit one first because it's going to be a little bit longer. So Detroit Branch, you're going to unload all your goods there. You guys are going to pick up all your food. And this will be Detroit Food. And we'll make this a nice cyan color for the Detroit Lions. And that should be starting to get some of the production done. There we go. Yes, more. There we go, I think production's starting to really kick in now. I think a lot of the food's going to this line though, instead of this one first. I think it'll get it as time goes on. Alright. New steam lorries. Go ahead, focus on food, 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 food. Food, new line. Yeah, they're starting to get their food over there now, too. Line contains too few stations. Wait, what? Oh, okay. And this was. Which one is this again? I think it's. Dump. Yes. And I think for these guys, we'll go for a. Uh, go for a nice green. And. Just to make sure I spell Indianapolis. Gotcha. Indianapolis. Food. Very good. It was good. They're coming out pretty good. Now the question is, where is most of my negatives coming out? Okay, so the farm line one is fine. Farm line two is positive. Uh, Chicago food's already positive. The question's going to be is Detroit food and Indianapolis food going to have enough money coming in? And I think it will. We should be fine. These guys are going to be making a lot of food money for me. And since we have so many goods coming into these places, I think we have, what, five of each? They should be fine, because I think... How much can the steam lorry hold again? That's a good question. You can hold up to six. Yeah, that should be good, because there's two farms feeding the supplies here. Worst comes to worst, I can add more to it. Besides, there's also the bit of time travel, too. So the Detroit line's going to take forever to get here. The Indianapolis line, it's a little bit shorter. But for the most part, everybody's going to pretty much reach their location. The only one they really have to keep stockpiled with food is the Chicago line. But again, if I need to up production on anything, I can go ahead and do that. Alright, and while that's going on, the different locations are producing food. We are delivering so much to the processing plant. Stuff is doing good. 
Now, as I said before, I could probably up production a little bit on the food resources, but I kind of want to save a little bit of money for other stuff, because we're already pretty far in positives. Oh, and here's all the ships again. So, can I build the ship ship? No, they're still out of my realm of control. I might want to up production on that. Well, maybe not. This guy is getting his food. He's missing three of it. But they keep putting most of the food on the on the Detroit line. Yeah, Indianapolis line is the one that needs filled right now. Detroit's fine. If anything, they have to keep stockpiling for the Chicago food line. I might want to increase production. Alright, so one way to do this is I can I can add three. I'm going to add three more of each. So cattle, 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 grain, grain, grain. You're gonna get sent to Chicago line at one. Buy me an additional Three, four, five, six. You're gonna do cattle, 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 grain, grain, grain. Chicago farm food too. There we go. And those guys can just go a while. That'll increase food production because I don't think we're meeting our quotas. Um, at least in my opinion, I think we need more production on this. The more goods I'm throwing into this, the faster it goes, because as you can sit there and see, this guy's waiting for the Indianapolis food stuff to get done for a while now. I think, I think, I think 12 of those should definitely supply the food, so 8 of them should be fine. Which we've already met our needs for the uh, livestock collected, so we're pretty good on that too. Also trying to drink coffee at the same time as doing the second cup I've had today. Alright, very good, very good. Alright, so let's see, another thing I could be getting done. Okay, I have, a, I have an idea. So, I can get this started already just so it's getting done which is this. Um, I will build these with the uh, catenary things getting done, so uh, that's actually a smart idea. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to get... Ooh, one second. Wrong one. Shiza. I... Pigs are loose. No idea how that happened, but the animals are frolicking around on the roads near the slaughterhouses. What should we do? Build better roads. The animals over. Luckily, no one sees the manner in which canned meat was slaughtered. Our vehicles shouldn't take any damage in doing so, or will they? The pigs seem to think that they can escape their fate, but they don't know us very well. We should improve the fences urgently, a one-time investment that will pay off. Let's add more Chicago food. More production. More food. Transport it all for me. Detroit. To food. 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 Indianapolis. Go, 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 go. All the goods I ever wanted. There we go. This should definitely beam up production as we were we're, we're actually getting a lot of fallback supplies here and I actually want to get rid of it and I think I think the farm should be fine I think the farms can definitely supply this place enough because the sh the only one they have to worry about is Chicago's food um, I think Detroit and Indianapolis it's far enough away that I think the goods pile up enough here because like you could sit there and see Detroit's fine uh, Indianapolis is falling behind a little bit but as production meets its quota it should be fine 
And they're all in the green, so we're, we're doing positive. It's not a lot of money, but it is money. So it's real useful to us. Um, I think I said I was going to build these real quickly, though. So we do have the right thing on now. So I want to build... How did I want to do this? So wait a minute, I have to I have to figure this out. Does each one of these towns actually use uh yes they do. So you use it, Chicago uses it, so let's sit there and see. Um I would need Okay, so Detroit's gonna need a two line one because I have to get resources. I need to get the brick and I need to get the oil to or the uh yeah, the oil or whatever is that, uh, fuel to it. So Detroit's going to need both of those. I think I can get this done. Okay, so I need, so there's going to be two lines that have to link and go directly to and from on these regions. The meat business isn't going badly at all, but if we're to enter the automobile industry, we're going to need much more money. More lucrative, albeit far riskier, would be the transport of certain liquids that have recently been banned for the good of society. Something which hardly anyone except the police cares about. Moonshine is being I'm produced not do that. in an inconspicuous hut somewhere in the forest, and we can deliver it to the cities. At the end of the month, our client, who would like to remain anonymous, will pay us a bonus for each crate we transport. If we don't want to get our hands dirty, we can decline the offer with thanks and remain in the pig business. I'm just trying to think of how I want to do this. Okay, so Chicago's going to need a two-liner. So, I want to get one that just directly stops here. I'm going to want two lines. Oh, oh, two. So this will be the... Where, I wonder where this would be best to be built at. It's actually a good question. Would be best to build it here? Not really. It would be best to build it here. Could be good. It doesn't really matter where you build this at, as long as it's somewhat near, the, as long as it's near the city, it will transport the goods to the rest of it. Hmm. I'm trying to take a good location. I could just build it right here. Alright, so that should be fine. That's fine for that. Fine for this. And I think if I remember right, I had an issue with this before. So the only easy way to build and connect this was I had to do it from this direction. I think I specifically remember dealing with this before. So we'll build this one here. All right, so the goal of what these missions are gonna be is I have to build a major line network. Um, so I'm gonna actually go ahead and build a small road that leads like right about to, where does it get to? About here. And what this will allow me to do is then build the major terminal network. So it's costly, but very, very effective. So. Here is my massive $213,000 connection points. So, I need one here, and I'm going to need another one over right about, yeah. right about, yeah. Now, you might say, Demon, what are you gonna do with these? So, the goal is gonna be is two have to connect to Detroit, Two has to connect to Indianapolis, two of them have to go and connect to Chicago to get the goods from here to here. I'm going to use land transport here to here, land transport. I'm not going to do trains, they're too expensive, and I think we can get enough goods flowing to them that it doesn't actually matter. So um, let's go ahead and get the terminals put in place. Right there. Um, I think I could build this one. Is it, can I build it right here? Very good, very good. All right. Oh, and we got the Mikado train now. Oh, we also have the new Max. Let me see them real quickly. What, what do they look like? They go 30 kilometers an hour compared to 25. Okay. Um, but however, I think I've gone over for 30 minutes. 
um, or just about. So I'm going to actually stop the video right here. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is next episode, as you guys will sit there and see, is I'm going to be connecting each of these uh, rail networks to their own individual one. Again, I could probably do it with less, like probably three, and just have them interconnect so everybody's kind of like dodging each other and stuff, but I know I can make the money on it, so it's I don't care. I mean, as you guys saw last game with my ideas that I had going, I had all those different rail lines, and they were connecting everywhere, and I got rich. So you get you got to spend some money to make some money. Now the question is going to be is which one am I going to connect to each location? So I think what we'll do is these two will connect to Chicago. Uh, these two are going to connect to Indianapolis and the last two are going to connect to Illinois. Now the thing is is with this I have to have separate rail lines for each um, train. So the first set we're going to get done because it will be the easiest is the ones that are going to connect out to Detroit. So what we're going to have to do is I have to basically, well actually no, maybe we should do Chicago's first. Chicago might be easier. Hmm. You know what, let's do Chicago first because what I'm going to have to do is um, I have to kind of merge the lines together to get each individual thing set up. So what's going to happen is this line has to connect all the way through to here. And I think the easiest way I can um, build this around it is these lines will connect through here, those lines will connect through here. I can set up a train network back over here. So each one of these things have something that connects it to the next uh, set of trains so that they follow the correct terminal path to get to the next location. I think that's the easiest way to do it. And then each one of these uh, individual ones can then connect to where they got to go. Now let me see if I can, I wonder if there's just a way to do it automatic. That's the question. Yeah, so pretty much I can connect them, but I think what we would do is I would probably build it um, pretty far back so that each one of those lines can kind of just meld into each other and that that one train can just keep going. And then I, what I could do is on this opposite end do the exact same thing but in reverse and then everything will kind of just connect and meld together and it's kind of cheap because um, the only other choice I have is I literally could just build four of these which would be kind of expensive well actually no I'd have to build six of them and just send an individual train on each one but I can't really build it close to each other like this because they'll uh, break so um, yeah please like subscribe leave a comment down below when we come back to this we will begin the massive, um, I think we'll do the land network for the stone oil first, or actually no, I'll probably actually just go ahead, yeah let's do that, we'll do this, we'll do stone and oil first, uh, when they start making the goods there, then I'll get the trains ready to start flowing, and then the other thing I'll have to do is at some point we are going to have to get rid of the steam lorries that we're currently using and upgrade them to the new max. So the thing I'll have to do is I'll have to get new uh, guys set up. So these will be the big ones. I think I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we have 16. So I would need, I need to build 16 of those faster trucks. And I think at this point, they're still making me money on this. So I'm going to wait and buy some time. So yeah, please do these things, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next round of Transport Fever doing the motor industry. See you all then.